What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Loversich from Pixel Fit here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build an app for iOS or Android in less than five minutes. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's do it. So this is Adalo. And what Adalo is, is a platform that lets you create or build an app without having to know any code or having to know how to write any code for that matter. And it is pretty awesome. I literally played with it with five minutes and I was like, I need to make a, a video about this right now for my channel, because it's a game changer for sure. And make sure you watch till the end because I'm gonna walk you through uh, actually building an app in real time. So as you can see, you can do mockups of your app or you can create your, your working app. There's, they have their own community of no code app creators that you can check out. You can even uh, pair up with experts that will, that will help you, your product. You can hire them on and you can look them up by, you know, by price and experience, which is pretty cool. So if you need a little bit of help, you can do that. And then the price, pricing goes as follows. You can start with the free plan, which the link is down below in the description. When you use my link below, you get access to the free plan and it gives you up to 50 rows of data per app, uh, one, which is plenty to get started. And then after that, you can go up to the pro plan, which is $50 a month. And then after that, the business plan is $200 a month, which is so cheap if you think about it. If you have ever hired somebody to write code for you or build an app for you, I can assure you it's gonna cost you a lot of money because I looked into it back in the day and this is why I'm so excited about the no code movement. Uh, so when going here, um, once you start your account, it takes you to the screen right here. So let's build our first app. So let's click in here. And what is my app is going to be about? My app is going to be, let's do coaching. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to name it chef. I'm going to put chefs with people together so they can teach you how to cook. Uh, primary color already pulled up some colors since, in, since it's, you know, cooking and organic, that feel. I was going to go for that, that avocado green, right? To give it that that green and yellow, make it look, you know, that chill, uh, nature color. All right. So trust me on that. So I'm going to put that here and then let's grab our yellow. So what's our yellow CFD 760. Okay. CFD 760. Perfect. So that works. We click create and close these tabs. And it's gonna do its little thing right here. And then it takes you to this screen. Look at that, how cool is that? So I already have my welcome screen for my app. You have your client, client sign up uh, screen for your app. They can set up their profile, they can log in, you can set assignments, they can do notes, resources, and all you have to do is follow the instructions here, but it's already all done for you okay that's the coolest thing so if you if it's something like this where you're trying to pair people together you can do this and guys with my channel with everything that i taught you about you know facebook ads and copywriting and all that stuff and email marketing you know you can create an app where you charge i don't know a cut let's say a percentage of putting two people together or a cut of something or you can charge a dollar you know a month three dollars a month and you can make a lot of money right so we go in here and then you're gonna go into your text uh you're gonna you can actually choose where you want to place your text so you will click in here and i will put um i don't know welcome to my app okay so and this looks small because um you know I, I have pretty big monitors so then you can change your picture in here so you can just upload uh your own image or you can go to a database uh, or use an url uh here you can go to your screens and it gives you a breakdown of each screen so you don't lose track of where you're going with it, with it okay right here is going to be your database 
And your database is basically where your, all your data is going to, going to be collected. For example, your user's data. So it's going to, you know, when users input their information, it's going to keep all the data. Basically, it's pretty much of a, a fancy form of a spreadsheet where all the information goes, like the, the email, the name, their password, their profile picture, or whatever. Like for in this case, we're matching people together. So it's like a profile picture. But let's say you were doing a... Uh, Kind of like an airbnb type of deal then the picture of the houses will go there that you match with the users uh i mean database could be a, a, a its own video uh so i'm not going to get into it but you know you can play with it and definitely figure it out um here under the settings you can check uh you can set up your your app settings you can upload your app icon so when you upload it to the apple store or the google store you have your little uh, logo that people can recognize and then a little description and there's there's, there's your token uh, you can change your display settings you can change the access to the app um, and you can do copy delete all that good stuff all right and then you, this is the publish button if you want to publish it as far as like editing the app on the go this is what makes it so simple back in the day you had to do this all manually but you can just go in here and each screen of that and each step of that and you can literally manually change what you need and this is what makes it so powerful so let's say i want to change this i will just change it right here you know so we will change it to like let's say you know chef sign up right and look how easy that is boom i can go in here and i can change my fields so let's say I want to add phone number, you know, I can add the phone number on there. Boom. Just like that. Cool. We have a phone number. So if they need, we need to add their phone number. Do, why do I want to set this automatically as? So do I want to set them as the client or the provider? You can change this right here. There's your submit button uh, where you can, you know, edit the way, uh, the, what you wanted to do, the way you wanted to look. And it's pretty much the same for every single step. You just have to go in there and look at all the sections. Uh, and you can change your colors, change the themes. I mean, you can literally edit everything in there. You can really get very granular with everything that you want to change. Uh, the best way that, that I would recommend using this software is going on the App Store and finding an app that's already done it and just reverse engineer it. It's like funnel hacking. You're, you're not duplicating what you see, but you're grabbing from it, studying it, and then make it your own right so what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to go when i have time to play with this a little bit of more time i'm going to look for apps like airbnb or uber or lyft and really pay attention on how they do in the customer journey they put everybody through once you learn what that journey is you know you can model yourself after that and the cool thing about this is that you can get it to the point where it's a working app and then you can assign a developer to it if you really want to or if you have this fantastic idea right that you want to get a working model going that you can present or get some users for it i mean this is how you can get started and get in front of vcs and get them to invest in your product if you already start getting a database of users that's how it's done um but again here's where you go to edit everything you just got to go box by box by box and once you start you know once you figure out the way you want it to look once you figure out all your fields and all that good stuff you can preview your app so you hit preview and then you can see how it works so let's say create client accounts so i will go in here my stuff is populated so i'll put my name and sign up and you can you know you can use it so you can set yourself as an user and go through the experience so you know what you're building and how you're doing it right so here's my profile picture and then phone number i'm just going to do and then complete setup and take notice of the little things hmm do i want my logo here do i want to change this it's just like building a funnel it's pretty much the same thing complete setup and then, you know, depending on what you send them, the way you set up your flows, you know, it takes them to the next screen. So in this case, I haven't set anything up, but let's say, let's look at the profile. So here's my profile. Um, you know, you can see everything, the email address, the phone number, and the profile picture. Then for example, resources, you know, you can 
like this was a chef app so i would set like the chefs available in the area when you would do like oh so i want somebody to teach me how to make italian food or indian food or mexican food or american food right so you get the idea you get to play with the app go through the user experience so you know how it works before you actually uh publish it to the app store or to the google android store uh if you have played with chatbots in the past it's pretty much the same thing uh, when it comes to the design and the way you set up uh, the flows based on what you're doing. I highly, highly recommend it. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Help support the channel by clicking on them and move on to the next video by clicking one of the boxes right above me and I'll see you in the next video.